Congratulations on your new PTC Optics Move SE camera. In this setup video, we'll guide you through the process of connecting, powering, controlling, and streaming with your new camera. When you first open your PTC Optics Move SE camera, you should read through the included quick start guide. Each box will include your PTZ Optics Move SE camera, a quick start guide, an IR remote control, two AAA batteries, a power supply, and an RS-232 cable for joystick control. Once you read the quick start guide, you can turn on your camera. If your network switch provides PoE, power over ethernet, you will not need to use the included power supply. If your camera does not turn on when plugged into an ethernet connection, it is safe to use the included power supply. Note, you should not connect the camera to a PoE network switch and a DC power supply at the same time. One very easy way to connect to your camera from a computer on your network is to type ptzoptics.local into any web browser on your local area network. This will allow you to connect to the camera and log in using admin as the default username and password. Once your camera is turned on, you can quickly control it using the IR remote control. Let's put both AAA batteries into the back of the IR remote and then use it to test out the pan, tilt, and zoom functions of the camera. PTC Optics Move SE cameras will automatically receive an IP address from DHCP enabled networks. You can view the IP address in the network tab of the web interface, and you may choose to change this to a fixed IP address on your network so that it will not change even when the camera is reset. To do this, simply select the fixed IP address option from the drop down menu and enter the IP address you would like to set the camera to. You can also view the IP address the camera currently has on the video output by using an IR remote control shortcut. Press star pound four on your IR remote control and see the IP address your camera currently has on the video overlay. The web interface is a great place to customize your Move SE to fit your video production needs. You will instantly gain a video preview from the camera, the ability to control your camera remotely, and configure almost every options available to you. The navigation panel in the web UI allows you to quickly and easily select the various control options for the camera. It can be collapsed to make more room on the user interface. The camera settings page gives you access to the camera's video feed, PTC control, OSD menu, preset control, speed settings, image settings, and control settings. It is here that you can operate the camera's pan, tilt, and zoom, plus set and recall PTC camera presets with the click of a button. You can also turn the auto tracking functions on and off in the control tab in this area. The audio and video settings page gives you access to the video encoding settings, IP video stream one and stream two encoding settings, and audio encoding settings sections of the network video feeds. The new option for video outputs has a selection for the four functions of the camera video capabilities. For USB, IP, HDMI, and SDI at 30 frames per second, the default, all outs are set to 1080p 30. For USB and IP, this option will allow the USB and IP to function at 1080-60. For the USB slash HDMI dash SDI, this option will allow the USB and HDMI dash SDI to function at 1080p 60. For HDMI dash SDI slash IP, this option will allow the HDMI dash SDI and the IP to function at 1080p 60. Note. One of these options will need to be selected in order to enable the camera to use 108060, otherwise all outputs will be 108030. The streaming settings page gives you access to the RTMPS settings, SRT settings, RTSP settings, multicast settings, and OnVIF settings sections. This is the area that you can use to get the camera to start streaming to destinations such as Facebook or YouTube. You can use the drop down menu under the RTMP streaming settings to turn your live streams on and off. The profile settings page gives you access to the logo upload, profile configuration, quick profiles, custom CSS, and tutorial mode sections. You can customize the entire web interface look and feel here. You can also create, save, and upload profiles for your camera to quickly switch all the settings for a new purpose. You could save up to three unique profiles for quick recall on the sidebar of the navigation area. 
The NDI settings page will allow you to manage certain NDI configurations like the local device name, local device channel, receive group, discovery server, discovery server address, multicast server, and it'll allow you to check which NDI version you have. Note, NDI is not native to this camera and an additional license will need to be purchased to enable NDI. The MIDI control page grants access to the PTC Optics MIDI control, control mapping, mass command edit and information sections. The MIDI control page can be reached by accessing the HTTPS version of the camera's web interface. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash camera IP. The page must remain open for MIDI control to function. The device information page gives access to the device information section. This is where you can rename your camera so that you can easily manage multiple cameras on the same network. The system settings page gives you access to the HTTPS settings, IR remote channel selection, access settings, firmware check, restore default, and firmware upload sections. This is also where you can quickly check to see if your firmware is up to date. A good place to get started is the network settings page where you can view your camera's IP address. You can keep the DHCP address or set a unique IP address using the fixed option. If you're setting up multiple cameras, do so one at a time. Give each camera a unique device ID in the device info tab, allowing you to set a unique address for easy access, like HTTP camera onelocal and HTTP camera two.local. In system settings, Click the Check Firmware Version button to ensure you have the latest firmware. If there's a new version, follow the instructions to update your camera. While you can control each camera over IP, it's also nice to be able to control your cameras with the IR remote control. To control multiple cameras with a single IR remote, assign each camera a unique IR remote control selection in system settings. Now, on the top of your IR remote control, you could choose the corresponding IR remote control number from one through four to choose the camera you would like to control with the IR remote. Once your camera is set up on your network and you have installed the latest firmware, you should consider downloading the PTZ Optics camera management platform at ptzoptics.com CMP. The CMP software will allow you to quickly find your camera on the network and allow you to manage multiple cameras easily on your network. PTZ Optics Move cameras feature built-in auto-tracking capabilities. You can turn on auto-tracking by pressing the auto-track button on the IR remote control, F3, or via the web interface in the control tab of the camera settings area. Pressing F4 on the IR remote control will also disable auto-tracking. You can adjust auto-tracking camera options in the web interface under the camera control option. Once you have your camera set up, you may want to adjust the HDMI and SDI video outputs. The HDMI and SDI video output resolution is set by a yellow dial on the back interface board of the camera. By default, the dial is set to 1080p60. However, the web interface will override this option since camera default is set to USB slash IP slash HDMI dash SDI 30 frames per second. All outputs are set to 1080p30. You can reference the available frame rates in your manual or on the table printed on the bottom of your camera. You can use a tweaker to change the dial and adjust the resolution and frame rate. Anytime that you adjust the dial, you should restart your camera. Each of the PTZ Optics Move camera video outputs can have embedded audio, including SDI, HDMI, USB, and all IP streams. You can include audio with the video outputs by connecting a line level 3.5 millimeter audio input. Now that your camera is on the network, you may want to connect it to a joystick controller. If you have the PTZ Optics CMP software, you can easily retrieve IP addresses needed to set up your IP joystick in this software. You can also find the camera's IP address in the web interface in the network settings area. You can set up an IP joystick to control your camera such as the PTJoy G4 or the PTZ Optics SuperJoy by entering the IP address of each camera you wish to control in the joystick interface. Now that your camera is all set up, consider downloading some of the free PTZ Optics applications available at ptzoptics.com applications. If you have any questions or issues during the setup process, please get in touch with our support team at community.ptzoptics.com or call 
888-978-8888-9706. Enjoy your new PTZ Optics Move 4K camera. All PTZ Optics Move cameras include a five-year warranty, and our team will be happy to repair or replace any warranty issues. Finally, consider subscribing to our channel for updates from the PTC Optics team.